Welcome to the first episode of Ultimate Review NOC Tech. Tech. <laughs> I'm Julian Tatiem and I have a co-host Joanna. <laughs> so today we'll be reviewing and comparing three different laptops from Aftershock. They all have a 15 to 16 inch display. They all have the new Intel i7-9750H. Six cores and 12 threads. So we're gonna jump straight into the fourth 15. GTX 1650, 8 GB of RAM, Full HD IPS 60 Hz display, 256 GB NVMe SSD, price at $1,485. Next, we have the Apex 15 Lite, GTX 6060 Ti, 8 GB of RAM, FHD WCG, 144 Hz display, and 512 GB NVMe SSD, priced at $1,899. And last but not least, the Slate 15 has the <laughs> RTX 2060, 8GB of RAM, 100% sRGB, Full HD, 144Hz display, and 512GB NVMe SSD, price at $2,350. <sighs> wow! So actually, before we started the video, I asked Joe which laptop you like. We're going to cut to that. So before we start, I just want to see which laptop you like, without knowing anything. <coughs> what, like that? <laughs> Straight away. Let's, let's see what, what she likes. I think I still prefer the middle one though. Because it's light? It's lighter as compared to these three, mm. among these three, and yeah. then this one is like more slick, I feel. Mm. So you like this. Yeah. After knowing the specs, you will still choose this, right? Yeah. For you, design is important. Yes, it must look slick and it's like more girly kind right. of thing. Yeah, so actually for design, I need more performance and more inputs. All the laptops have almost all the inputs you need. Yep. Inputs means all the you know USB and stuff. Yeah. So we start with the Forge 15. For the Forge 15, you have one USB 3, one USB 2, and audio inputs on the left. At the back, you have a mini display port, HDMI, Ethernet and power input. And on the right, you have another USB 3, USB Type-C, and an SD card slot. The Apex 15 has Ethernet USB 2 and audio inputs on the left, two mini display ports, HDMI, USB Type-C, and power inputs at the back. And on the right, there's two USB 3, and SD card slot. And lastly, we have the Slate 15, one USB 3, two USB Type-C, one display port, HDMI, and power input on the left. And on the right, there is audio jacks, USB 3, SD card slot, and the power input. Okay, so now we talk about the trackpad. For the Forge and the Slate, it's a very similar, right? You can see it. Apex is more of a flush feel. Yep. Try touching all of them. How, how does it feel? There's some friction between yeah. the first and the third one. You can feel like the Apex is a lot smoother mm. and this one has a friction, right. more friction. So you kind of, it's more precise, I guess. But if you like it more flush, then this is for you, uh, yeah. right? How, how does the keyboard feel for you? Pretty much the same. Pretty much the same? Yeah. I would say it has a bit of a tacky feel, you know, tick tack tack uh, like a mechanical keyboard. So it actually feels good. Mm -hmm. One thing that's different between all three of them, right, is the LED. Oh. Yeah. So you see the LED, right? For the Forge, it has one color only. You can change colors, oh. but only one color. And right. it's very limited colors you can change. Apex, you have four zones. So you can see like there's purple, blue, green, green and red. And then it's like I a bit, it's like yeah, a bit yellow. like, but it is like a blend, but it's four different zones. Mm, right. So it's a bit limited, but you have more options. Mm -hmm. The slit on the other hand, you can see that I customize a bit. You can actually have per key. So WASD, right, is green, then tap is blue. Then if let's say you want the numbers to be different color, right, can. Okay, which is perfect for gaming. Yeah, I know. It's perfect for gaming. Or let's say you have like editing uh, software yeah. and then you need some color to pop up to remind you like this color is for what. Yeah, then yeah, it, it's it's an option. So you can even do this kind of like rainbow wave, right, but with a lot smoother, you know. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, that's, that's a keyboard. Battery life for Forge is about four to five hours. And for this, one of my favorite, it's about three hours-ish. And the last one, about five to six hours. Yeah. Mm. So for the chassis, which is the, the body of the laptop, it gets pretty hot below. It gets about 60 degrees below when you play games. Not advisable to put it on your lap. Yeah. But if you watch videos, it should be quite cool, about 30 to 40 degrees. At the top, is uh, quite cool. It's 30 degrees to 40 degrees. Okay, so next is going to be interesting. So I have not tested this because I want to test this with you. We're going to test the audio, webcam and the mic. Oh. And just see how, how it goes. Okay. Yeah. So what we have done is we all play the same YouTube video. It's the Chasm Into Deep Remix. We're going to try to compare all these laptops and then we're gonna listen to our own phones and see how it compares, right? Okay. Okay, so we go we go for the laptops first, okay? Okay. So this is max volume. Forge. 
It feels like something covering the mic, mm. you know, uh, the, the speakers. Yeah. yeah. Slightly a little bit better. Yeah, better. Like, it's a bit more like, like Put, a bit more yeah. out, you know? Correct. Yeah, it, it, it sounds better. It mm. sounds better. Oh, this is the best though. Yeah, this is, this is best. Yeah, this is the best. <laughs> this is the best out of these two three laptops. It, it's clear. Yeah, clearer. It doesn't sound like so, any, something is covering yeah, the Yeah, and it's sharper speaker. though. Yeah, sharp. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, then now we compare to Pixel 3. Okay, then now. This is Not still bad. better. Yeah, this is still better. Yeah. But compared to this one. Yours is better. Yeah. I actually suspect that the phone will be better than all three, but actually <laughs> the slate won the phones. Yeah. Yeah, the, the slate actually not too bad. But then again, I mean, if you have headset, and you just want a game, yeah. then you can just get this lah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, that's within your budget then, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now the webcam. Let's try the webcam. Okay, hi. 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 How's the mic on this? I think... Don't know lah, how you know? <laughs> how you know? Okay, this one. How's the mic on this? I don't know. Oh, this one, the camera is here. Oh, no wonder. Ah, yeah. And then this one, the camera is on top. Hi. Yeah, hi. Hi. Testing. All right. So we, we okay. We deduce that these two are similar. Does the job right? I mean, it's not the best microphone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this is not very good. Mm. I suspect it's because they it's a slim model, yeah. So they can't put a good one. Mm. Like like maybe it's space. No, no, no uh, space. But the music though. Yeah, the music. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> so right now we're gonna test the weight. Two kilos. Two kilos, fourteen grams. When you carry your laptop, you carry your charger. Yeah. So must weigh the charger also. That's so smart. Okay, so okay. weigh the charger. 2.5. 2 60 grams. Okay. So the slate, let's do the slate. Without charger is about 2 kilos, same? 2 kilos also. Same. Oh, this 2.1 lah. Oh, this one. I round up. No, okay. we got round up. <laughs> okay, 2.1. 2 kilos, 183 grams, but okay. with the charger. Wow. Wow, it's wow. actually pretty heavy. Yeah, 2.8. 2.8. Okay. And last but not least, we have this. Nah, you can. 1.8 1, 1. Huh? 1.8? Yeah. Wow, 1.83 Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense, makes Now with the charger, I feel it's gonna be like 2.2 2.2, 2.3 yeah. Around there Hey, 2.4 2.4 The chargers are not light The chargers <laughs> are not light But okay, we got, we got the weight We got the weight Lastly, we have the performance of all three laptops The CPU, the GPU and generally how it runs Like I said at the start, all the three laptops have the same CPU It's the latest i7 9 gen CPU No point comparing among each other Because so what I did was I compared to the last generation i7 CPU And I'm actually very surprised There's about 70 to 80% performance increase. Oh wow. But it's on a benchmark, uh, Sydney bench. Gaming wise, GPU, this is running the 2060 RTX. It outperformed the last generation 1070 Max Q. Even for Apex, it has the 1660 Ti running very nice, very good. Yeah. And because all of them are running NVMe SSDs, they start up Windows very fast, you can multitask very fast, you open programs very fast. With that, I'm pretty amazed at all three laptops. The Slate 15 is a good high-end all-round laptop. You get performance, you get good weight, you get good speakers and basically good everything. The Apex 15 is even lighter than the Slate and the Forge. And considering other brands that put a slim tax on laptops, for $1,845 for the i7-9750H and the 1660 Ti, alone is pretty crazy compared to other similar laptop brands that are selling above $2,100. And the Forge 15 on paper might not seem very interesting, but if you compare the price to other brands, the same specification, size, and you realize $1,475 is a steal. Because the other brands are selling it at $1,800. Might as well buy the Apex 15, right? What's better now is that in August, the Forge 15 will be upgraded from 256 GB to 512 GB SSD, and the 60 hertz display will be upgraded to 120 Hertz display, all for no cost, $1,475. You choose this for style, which will you choose now? Hmm, I'll still stick to this though. Right. Okay, why? Okay, basically webcam wise doesn't really affect me because I use phone on right. time. And then audio wise, I mean pretty good, but better than the first one, Forge. Mm -hmm. So to me it's fine, I mean I'll use a headphone and stuff. Right. Yeah, and then like, usually I surf net, I watch um, Netflix, I don't usually game. So to me this is good enough. Yeah. So for me, the Forge 15 is actually very good entry level laptop. Mm -hmm. If you are on a budget, 1.4, affordable. And if let's say you need to play games, you want to play games, you're a student, you want to play games, yeah, this is it. 
you know, this is it. But I would choose the Slate 15. <laughs> and the reason being because I travel a lot. Yeah. And I travel, I have to go and edit. When I go out and edit, I need something that's fast. I need a bigger SSD. When I go overseas, I usually go for gaming conventions. Mm, that's so right. usually I go there, I also want to play games. Mm. So I bring my laptop. Cool. But if let's say, if I am a student, I will actually still pick this lah. Hey, yeah, because it's, it's light, it's really light. So with that, I hope you enjoy our ultimate review. If you want to know more about laptops, there are links in the description below. You can find out. I'm sure you missed some specs for the laptop. So if you want to know more, do comment in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as many as I can. And you know, when they, they want us to do something more, then we will do in the next episode. Yeah. We, were, we are learning, we are learning. First episode. Yeah, yeah first episode. Yeah. Yeah. So with that, Remember to click, click here, here for more, more and click, click here, here to subscribe. subscribe.